Welcome back to the shooting channel. And today we've got a new gun or a special edition gun from our friends at Browning. We've got the new Browning Tedition. Paul? They've done this in a 20 ball before. This is one of the first times they've done this in a 12 ball. And what they are, is they are a new gun. They're in the 525 range and they used to do the grade one, grade three, grade four, grade five. They obviously now don't do the grade three, but the grade three slot, if you understand what I mean, that slot, a little bit better than the grade one, not quite as good as the grade five, they've replaced with special editions. And this is a special edition. They've only done a few of them. They're 30 inch barreled guns, they're game guns, and they, I've got slightly better engraving. They pick out the best wood, so they've got better wood than grade one. They are non-ventilated barrels, but a ventilated rib. Comes with five multi-chokes. It's a special edition. It's better than a grade one, but it's not quite as good as a grade five. They are, generally they retail at about 2,300 pounds, 2,400 pounds. You can find them at just under 2,000 pounds. This is one that Oxford Gun Companies have got. They have got th four of them at just under 2,000 pounds as a special edition price. And there is other Browning dealers that may do the same as well. So if you are interested in a gun that is slightly better than the grade one, got really nice wood on it, but you don't quite want to go to the grade five expense, have a look at this game tradition. There are 525 stock dimension, so they come up slightly higher stock dimension. They're about between six and a half and seven pounds in weight. So they were proper game gun. So the one thing I don't particularly like about it, and the only thing I don't like about it, but you can have it changed, is it comes with an auto safety. So you have to push the safety catch on all the time. But if you buy one, generally most decent dealers will actually change that for you within the price because it doesn't cost them a lot of money, 25 pounds. Other than that, the balance of the gun is really, really well balanced. If anyone has seen one of these or got one of these, please comment below. I'd love to see if anyone has seen one of these. If anyone's got a grade three, what does everyone think of Browning's, that grade three slot? They use it for the special editions. They've got the proper Browning recoil pad on it, so it doesn't recoil a great deal. And they're just a really, really well-balanced gun for 2,000 pounds or just under 2,000 pounds. I mean, what a gun. Let's have a look, let's have a shoot with it. So if you're looking for a lovely little game gun, or even not a game gun, if you're looking for a slightly lighter gun, forget it's a game gun. If you're just gonna shoot clays and you don't want the real heaviness of a sporter, have a look at this. But don't forget, if you're looking for a gun, go to your local shooting school and ask the experts, even book a lesson, and go and try a few guns out first and see what fits you and see what you handle the best. And that is the best way of buying your gun. Rather than going to a gun shop, not being able to shoot it, not having the experts there to explain to you exactly what it is. But Browning Net Dealer Network has got lots of local shooting schools all over the country. Go and have a look at them. Right. I'm just going to shoot it and see what it's like. Paul? 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 
So the one thing I don't particularly like about it, and the only thing I don't like about it, but you can have it changed, is it comes with an auto safety. Paul? 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 That's one stand. Quite a far out rabbit. And a, and a quarter away bird. Handled just like a little sporter. So if you're looking for something that you just don't want that weight, have a look at the Browning Tradition. I would say they've really, really done it nicely. They've kept the price down, but they've kept the quality up. They've got nice wood on it. They've got a nice balance well. It's a good all round gun. Ball. 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 That stand was really good. Again, gets used, I'm used to a heavy clay gun, but once you've got used to it, and once you've got used to the balance of the gun, I'll tell you what, I would buy one of these. And if you want something, and you're not gonna be an out and out serious clay shooter, and you just want something to go out and enjoy in your clays, have a look at one of these. Great guns, great balance. One more stand. Paul. Paul. And that is the Browning traditional game. Honestly, give yourself a have a look. If you're looking for a new gun, if you're looking for something and you just want something that's nice, you want to spend just about two grand, just under two grand, come and have a look at this gun. It's well worth a look. Come and have a look at it. The three stands we just shot, they're all varied targets. You had a little driven on the last one. You had a couple of crossers. You had a rabbit. And I'll tell you what, the balance of the gun, absolutely superb. Please comment below if you enjoy, if you've seen one of these guns, please comment below if you want any questions on these guns and we'll do our utmost to answer your questions. I hope you've enjoyed this program. Please like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. Please, please, please join the membership for as little as $2.99 a month. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.